Hello everyone, it's Dawn and welcome back to my channel. Well today we're going to kick off our series of projects from the Love From Lizzie February 2024 kit which is called Make A Wish and we're going to make a shaker card. Now I started doing this, this is going, I'm going to make a shaker box. I don't know about you but when I'm making shaker cards I find it easier to make a shaker box and then simply stick it to the back of the card when I'm done. It saves having to negotiate the little shaker bits and risk falling them out or have them fall out. Now what I've done with this one, this is going to be the front eventually. And what I did, I, I was chatting away. I thought I was filming and then I suddenly realized I wasn't. But all I've done, I have used, if I can find it, oh, there we go, right in front of me, that's where I couldn't. I've used this stamp from the kit. Now, if you haven't got this kit, you can use any stamp you like. These little sparkly star bits and pieces in here. And I use that little cl cluster, of, star cluster it's probably called. And I used, three shades of ink or three tones of ink three colors of ink now my my cubes just come like that they don't have names so i'm calling them pink purple and teal but you can use whatever you've got in your stash if you've got distress inks you can use that and i'm using that and my this will be on the front of the card i've also used so i just stamped them randomly in the center i've got them on i've got it on a block as you can see i haven't even washed it off yet but all I did was I stamped the colours randomly into the centre part of the card because the rest you won't see by the time we're done. We've also used the embossing folder, the cut and emboss. And I have used the cut and emboss section. I've had this middle bit cut out and I used it on one of the gorgeous rainbow glitter cards. Now, if you think, oh, I'd love to bake one of these, but you, I haven't got this kit. That's absolutely no problem at all. What you do is you find whatever six by four, this is a six by four card, incidentally. So you find whatever, or you use whatever six by four embossing folder that you've got in your stash already. And if you want it the same size as this one, what you do, you find yourself a circle die or any circle that measures two and a half inches in diameter. And that's from cutting edge to cutting edge. And you just cut it out of your card. So that's two and a half inch diameter. And to, to achieve this effect here, just grab a piece of ephemera or a piece of embellishment and pop that onto your card piece when you've cut it out and you will have a very similar effect. So that's how you get round the situation where you don't have this kit. So you can still make a card similar to this with whatever you've got. Fabulous kit. Now I'm going to turn this over. In the kit, we had some shaker elements. We also had some acetate. Now acetate is very difficult to show you on video because obviously it's clear. Now I used white cardstock and I mounted this, or well, actually I didn't use white cardstock. I did that for the main card but this is a piece of the glitter card as you can see. On the back of the glitter card, the embossed piece, I have used a piece of acetate from the kit which is also six by four. So the top piece is six by four and the um, acetate is six by four and all of this will be in the description box down below. Now it's sort of chicken or egg situation. Do you put the shaker elements in first or do you take the tape off first? I tell you what, let's put the shaker elements in first. What I'm going to do, I'm going to tip, I'm going to be generous, I'm going to tip the lot in because if I try and get some and then let them fall out or try and put them back in again, I am going to make the most terrible mess but I'm a messy crafter anyway, so that's no problem. That's nothing new. So we're just going to empty the bag into there like that. Now, oops, <laughs> the rest has gone all over the table. I've got a very magical table today, guys. So we'll just empty that out there. I'll put the bag to one side. Now, when they drop, they may not, they may go a little bit. They may not cover. So what I'm going to do in my own stash, as it's make a wish, I have found some sparkly stars. This is actually table confetti, but I'm just going to take a few, not many. It's some silver table confetti, but I use it as shaker elements. I'm just going to take a couple of pinches, that's all. I'm not going to use any more than that because I want this color to shine through. So now what we're going to do, we are going to, never mind about the sparkles all over the table, that'll make it more magical. I'm going to, take the backing paper off of my this is this is foam tape 
I've got two layers. Have I got two layers? Yes, I've got two layers of foam tape because I didn't want it to catch. And I wanted them, I wanted the shaker pieces to move freely. And sometimes if you only use one, it can sort of squash them in and they don't move terribly well. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to turn this over so that the sparkly stuff or the ink is face down. And I'm going to press that down onto there like that. I'm going to give it a good press all the way around so that the bits don't fall out. And I'm going to turn it over, turn it around the right way. And there you go. You have your shaker box and you've still got the sparkly bits from the ink. So that's really good. If you've got some iridescent ink or you've got metallic ink, even better. I have, but I've decided not to use it today. So you'll always see bits and pieces, which is why I try to be generous with my shaker elements. So when they fall down, you can still see bits and pieces. So let's get on with it and finish making it, shall we? So it's great fun playing with shaker elements or shaker boxes. Now from the fabulous kit, we got some white card. Now every craft has got white card in their stash. So whatever white card you've got, but I would suggest making a strong one because we're going, to, especially if you're making a shaker box like I did, because it will need to support it. And if you find you've got a bit sticking out, just put, put, place it over your card. And if you think, oh golly, that's going to stick out a bit, just take a pair of scissors, because it doesn't always go on perfectly. Cut up, angle your scissors to the edge of the top front. Be careful not to cut into the foam, otherwise you'll get shaker elements all over the place. And just cut it. And then by the time you're done, oh, the little tiny bit that we just missed, there's always one bit that escapes. Well, there is when I do it anyway. And there you have a beautiful card and no one will know. So I'll just move my scissors out of the way for a second. Now let's get this into the centre of the screen. On the back of here, I have got some double-sided sticky tape, double-sided tape. And I'm just going to very quickly, or as quickly as I can anyway, take off the release paper or the backing paper. And we're just going to take this off as quickly as possible. So we've got our shaker box all sealed. So you can pick this up and move it as you like. And the bits are not going to fall out, hopefully. So now what we do, we line this up and we place this onto our six by four card like that. We're nearly done, guys. So this is a relatively quick and easy one. And so when you pick up the card, it will shake. It will stand up like that. And again, if you've got a bit at the top, which is sticking up or sticking out and it bothers you, it doesn't bother me too much, but it's better to try and keep it flush if we can, especially if we're going to give it to somebody. If you're just going to keep it to decorate your craft, then it doesn't matter as much. But I like things to be neat and tidy. So we'll sweep them to the one side. So there we go. Now, again, from the kit, I thought I'd use one of the ephemera pieces and I've used this gorgeous little unicorn. And on the back, I have got a foam pad this time. And this is where this bit goes here. I could have cut the fairy out from the die, but it's, a, it's quite a bit bigger. The other way around, I could have cut this again and just cut the fairy out, which I might do another time. But what I'm going to do with the unicorn, I'm going to put him or her, about there, so that you've still got a little bit of that glitter card, so he could have, he or she could have a halo around. And the only other piece I've used from the stamp set, I have used the sentiment, hope your day is as magical as you are. And I've stamped it with a green or a teal to coordinate with the cardstock. And I've used one of the Love From Lizzie rectangular dies, but any rectangular die you've got, or you can even hand cut it if you want to, and if you want, to, now if you need a die or would like a die this to cover this, to have this space around it, the measurement of the sentiment die is two and three quarters by one and a half inches. Now don't worry about all these measurements. They will be in the description box below the video. Just click on the word more underneath the video and it will drop down. And you'll be surprised what you find down there. You'll find everything you need to know. So I'm just going to take off the backing paper. And I'm going to stick it, because there's not much room, I'm going to stick that almost right in the corner. Stick it down like that. Just sweep away the debris to one side, just for a moment. And there we go, guys. There is our first card. There is our first project, which is a shaker card. 
and I think that's absolutely gorgeous. So that will stand up really nicely like that. We'll keep it flat so that you can see it. And I hope you've enjoyed this one. Now, if you've enjoyed this project and you're not yet a subscriber to this channel, please do click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell and you'll never miss another video. We're going to make another card next time. And the one off and the project after that, this kit is called Make a Wish, but we will be making a project. Our third project will be where we can grant a wish. So do come back and see what I mean by that. And in our next project, we will be making another card and I hope to be able to come back and do that very soon. And in the meantime, do take care, everybody. Have fun. And as always, happy crafting. Bye bye for now.